The case against a former Army National Guard recruiter from Hudson Falls going nationwide. Investigators say women from as far away as Arkansas and Texas have been reaching out to them ever since they arrested, they arrested Sergeant First Class Robert Haas. This is NBC's Anya Tucker in Glens Falls with details on new charges and how the scope of this case is now widening. Investigators tell me that these latest charges here in the city of Glens Falls were developed through their investigation of Robert Haas. And while they have nothing to do with the rape and strangulation charge against him, they do say that that case is gaining wide attention and it is bringing more potential victims forward. Less than one week after being charged with rape and strangulation, Sergeant First Class Robert Haas was back in court again, this time in Glens Falls. These court documents detail what police say they found during a search of this storage locker said to be rented by the Army National Guard administrative employee. Police say they found an assault rifle and a 40 caliber pistol that Haas did not have a permit for in New York State. Court documents reveal that they also found a set of brass knuckles and a stun gun. Just one more twist in what police say is an already twisted tale in the case against a former Army National Guard recruiter who alleged victims say is like a Jekyll and Hyde. Our investigation has revealed there's multiple states with multiple females that could be potential victims. Lead investigator Kristen Hardy says her phone's been ringing off the hook with other potential victims of Robert Haas. Some calls, she says, coming from as far away as Arkansas and Texas. He, um, due to his service with the National Guard, he was at different locations um, throughout the United States. We have several different states where he was stationed. Hardy says many of the women calling say they met Haas online and that they fell for his incredible charm, but then quickly realized he had a darker side. Last week, Haas was arrested for raping and choking a woman inside his Hudson Falls apartment. Harvey says they are also handling another case of alleged rape involving a previous victim as well. You sat down with some of these women? Yes, I did. I think they're certainly struggling. It's a lot to, I think, grasp and understand what's going on in the big picture. Haas remains locked up inside the Washington County Jail. As for any other potential victims or for anyone who knows anything about this case, you are encouraged to contact the Washington County Sheriff's Department and ask for Investigator Hardy. In Glens Falls, Anya Tucker, News 10, ABC. All right.